Different kind of pandemic within our city. New at 11 tonight, 14 kids. That's how many have died just this year alone as a result of violence in the city of Jacksonville. It's a disheartening statistic that no family should ever have to experience. Just this weekend, two kids were shot and injured in shootings in Jacksonville's on Jacksonville's north side. And last Wednesday, a six year old was stabbed to death in Arlington. The attacker, an adult female, though we don't know the relation. And earlier this month, a 12 year old boy was injured after he was hit by a bullet while laying in his bed. And another teenager shot in the hand in a drive by shooting on MLK Parkway. 14 kids killed sounds like a lot, but sadly, there were more kids killed last year in 2019 and 2018 saw 14 for the entire year and we still have just over three months to go. And these numbers are just a sliver of the shootings and homicides that have happened across the city this year already as the homicide rate is on pace to be the deadliest year yet. It comes as we approach the eight year anniversary of the death of 17 year old Jordan Davis. On your side's Haley Harrison shows us how Davis and other murder victims are now a part of a public art project which is trying to promote community engagement. The brutal murder of Jordan Davis at a Jacksonville gas station caught the attention of the country. Now a local initiative is trying to make sure that his stories and other stories continue to spark conversation and change in the city. Jordan Davis, one of the many black lives being memorialized in this mural off of Myrtle Avenue and 20th Street Expressway. Six feet away gallery started as a way to give artists a job and a space to work during the coronavirus pandemic, but it has become a lot more than that. So we didn't want this to be a place of trauma. We want this to be a reflection of healing. A gallery initiative called Color Jack's Blue is not only trying to make neighborhoods more beautiful, but also trying to keep the stories of Jacksonville murder victims alive. Creator Shawana Brooks says projects like the Injustice in Jacksonville mural in Dirkville is supposed to encourage community members in predominantly black neighborhoods to stay educated about tragedies like the death of Davis. So it really started off with thinking about him as an individual, someone who did get some justice with his killer being behind bars, but knowing that a lot of other community members don't get that same justice. And encourage community members to act by going out to vote in November. Research your candidates, talk to other people, let's engage, let's bring back a conversation again. Brooks also hopes the art reminds community members to hold their heads up high. And she says the color Jack's blue murals have already received a good response from those who live or work nearby. I see the love. I see that they've been starving for this kind of visualization and I want to be able to feed them more. The Six Feet Away Gallery has been able to fund and hire about 20 local artists during the COVID-19 pandemic. In Jacksonville, Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.